Ngayon ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for Key Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chanson Pascual, and this is Key Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katende ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatangaling K-Check champion. Nandito na tayo sa ating weekly finals. Gilalani natin ngayon ang ating apat na daily winners. One of them will move on to a spot in our semifinals kung pumasa sila sa ating K-Check sa araw na ito. Our first contestant is Lance, a third-year BA Philippine Studies student from UP Diliman, who is also an award-winning published poet. Our second contestant is Tamara, a BA creative writing student who has always wanted to write for a living. Our third contestant is Gerald, an MS Environment Science student in UP Diliman with a BS Astronomy undergraduate degree from Rizal Technological University. And our fourth contestant is Harold, an English studies literature major who has a knack for slipping in the middle of poring over his readings. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of the day's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Department of History. And Professor Roy Deroy Morales, Professor of Law at the UP College of Law. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. And this is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Lance, in music, what term refers to the lowest male voice or a four-string guitar? Uh, al alto. Okay, bass or bass. Tamara, in math, what is 80% of 200? 60. Okay, 160. Gerald, best viewed live in Bangkok, what martial art is known as the art of eight limbs? Uh, it's Muay Thai. Harold, in music, what style of Afro-American tune is abbreviated as R&B? Jazz. Malik, rhythm and blues. Lance, in math, 70 is 35% of what number? 100. Correct answer is 200. Tamara, what country did the martial art of Taekwondo originate about 2,000 years ago? Korea. Eight. Gerald, the tuba, trumpet, and trombone belong to what family of music instruments? Percussion. Okay. Brass wind or brass? Harold, in math, 12 is what percent of 20? 60. Okay. Lance, in which Japanese martial art, whose name means the gentle way, do competitors try to throw each other to the ground? Aikido. Okay. Aikido. Tamara, in music, anchored to a player's chin, what is a soprano instrument of the modern string family? Violin. Eight. Gerald, in math, 35 is 70% of what number? Correct answer is 50. Finally, Harold, what is the name of the Chinese martial arts discipline at the Asian Games that includes Tao Lu and Sanda? Judo. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian Round. Grabe yung nangyari dyan. Gustong-gusto ko yung approach yung mga bata sa mga tanong na tinanong natin. Oo, diba? Nakakatuwa silang pakinggan. Mm -hmm. Diba? Baka si Gerald eh, may gusto sa ating ipahiwatig. Mm -hmm. hey, ano po, meron po akong tanong kasi patagal nang... Since nandito naman na po siya, ah, pwede po bang magtanong kay Prof. Neil? Oh, okay. uh -huh. Sure na sure. <laughs> uh -huh. Kasi sir, ayun nga, bilang uh, 
bilang ay nga uh, bilang sa inyong katungkulan bilang uh, chairperson ng history department ng UP Diliman at kamakailan lang ay may isang controversial na na statement ang isang artista at gusto ko lang po marinig kung ano yung uh, opinion din dito is history chismis po ba <laughs> I think gagamitin ko tong oportunidad na to para magpaliwanag. Naglabas na ng statement ang UP Department of History noong September 13, 2022. So, birthday yon ng ating kasalukuyang Pangulo. So, naglabas kami ng statement na hindi pwedeng chismis ang kasaysayan. Ang kasaysayan ay produkto ng masusing saliksik at merong ginagamit na mga ebidensya. So, yun yung aming sagot. So, bilang paghahanda, so, nagkaroon ng historians meet noong September 21. Then, buwan-buwan, meron kaming uh, mga aktibidad. So, next month, meron kaming public history symposium kasama namin yung mga civil society organizations naman. Tulad ng Bantayog ng Mga Bayani at Project Gunita. Then, November naman, merong National History Student Summit. Then sa December naman, meron kami teacher training. So, seryoso ang tugon ng UP Department of History sa ganong uh, tingin ko, irresponsable na komentaryo ng isang upcoming star. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the clarification, Prof. Neil. Okay. May tanong ka ba kay ano, Gerald in return? Hindi naman. Comment lang. Ah, okay. Comment. So, hindi, maganda. Salamat na binigyan mo ako ng pagkakataon. Kasi nga, matagal na rin namin pinag-usapan ano yung magiging response namin. Pero I think uh, gagamitin ko rin pagkakataon na nandito ako sa K-Check para i-advance yung ganong paninindigan. Maraming salamat. Maraming, Maraming salamat, salamat, Prof. Neil. No? Indeed, kailangan ng ganong clarification. Tama naman. Ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on K-Check. pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Ano na nga ba ang nakuwang puntos ng ating mga contestants? Si Tamara may 20 points, si Harold 10 points, at makakahabol pa si na Lance at Gerald. Okay. Ito pa lang naman, di ba? Round 1 pa lang, oh, di ba? So, nag-warm up pa lang oh, ang mga tao. may 2 rounds pa. Kayang-kaya pang humabol. Okay. May tanong ako kay Lance na hahabol, no? Okay? Paano kahahabol ngayong uh, araw na ito, Lance? Uh, siguro po, ano, sasagot lang po hanggang sa abot ng makakaya. Kasi very, ano po yung ano, mga questions dito. Like, uh, very, very random. At kung ano po yung naaalala ko. Ayun. Kayang-kaya mo yan. Ikaw, Tamara, ano bang strategy mo din ngayong mga panahon na to? Atigil ko ay instinct. Ah. <laughs> kung ano na lang maisip. Kung baka maalala, baka hindi. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, maalala. Mm -hmm. Maraming salamat, Tamara. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. In history, just seconds after taking off in January 28, 1986, Which space shuttle exploded in mid-air? Tamara. Apollo 11. The correct answer is Challenger. In physics, what term means the speed of an object plus the angle and direction of its movement? Velocity. What sports term refer to an untouched winning serve for Leila Fernandez or a hole-in-one for Jason Day? Gerald. Goal. The correct answer is ace. Named by the Guinness World Records for Best-Selling Tropical Salsa Artist 
and the most number one albums on the Billboard Tropical Albums Year End Charts. He is also the ex-husband of Dianara Torres and Jennifer Lopez. Who is this singer? Lance? Julio Iglesias. The correct answer is Mark Anthony. The United States' only hill station in Asia was established in 1900 at the site of an Ibaloy village known as Cafaguay. What city now stands on this historic place in the Cordilleras? Thank you. Known for the Night Watch, which famous Dutch painter's house is a major tourist attraction in Amsterdam? The correct answer is Rembrandt. From which film is the line, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn? Casablanca. The correct answer is Gone with the Wind. Which swimmer has won a record 23 gold medals at the Olympic Games? Gerald? Michael Phelps. Okay. In what sport or event? Did the Philippine squad of Rubilin Amit, Carlo Biado, and Johan Chua win a world title in Austria last September? The correct answer, Billiards. Selena Gomez released the hit single, Ice Cream, in 2020 with what girl group? Harold? The Iberian Peninsula is composed of which two countries? Tamara. Spain and Portugal. In 2018, the films A Star is Born, Black Panther, and Bohemian Rhapsody were nominated for Best Picture in the U.S. Academy Awards but none of them won. Which biographical movie of pianist Don Shirley won the best picture for that year? Tamara? The Green Book. Green Book? And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Point recap muna tayo. Nauna si Harold with 50 points. Sumunod si Tamara with 40 points. And si Lance at si Gerald ay may 10 points each. Okay, habol guys sa next round. Gusto ko yung mga katanungan ng last time kasi napaka-specific ng mga hinahanap, no? Oo, oh, ba? Kapag hindi mo alam, hindi mo talaga alam. Correct. Oh. Gabi yung judgment mo oh, naman doon. No? Pag di mo alam, di mo talaga oh, alam. Okay? Ikaw, Harold, dahil ikaw ang nauna, may mga kaalaman ka bang di namin alam? My question lang po ako kay Prof. Rowe po. Um, since she's a College of Law professor po, what are your thoughts about criminalizing the spread of disinformation in our country po? I'm also from Mascom. I also came from Mascom. So the two will be have to be in, interrelated. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng disinformation? Magkaiba yun sa misinformation. Misinformation can be what you call false or fake news, right? This information is deliberately withholding or changing the facts. Now, how will anyone know whether a certain fact or event has been changed if it is not um, articulated in mass media? Yung tayong dalawa lang, sino may iba makakaalam? Yung disinformation naman or kasinungalingan is iba din naman. So uh, many of the things involving information have definitely something to do with mass media. Now in law, wala ho tayong batas na nagsasabi na isang krimen 
ang uh, disinformation pero pwedeng maging libel di ba depende kung yung information na, na yon ay tungkol sa isang tao and was publicized short answer thank you professor Rowi okay taliwanagan tayo doon no this time our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dela ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on Team Check Recap muna ulit tayo. Leading si Harold with 50 points, followed by Tamara, 40 points, at may tig 10 points si na Lance and Gerald. Okay. And in tradition, no, na binubuo natin ng mga contestants ang nagtatanong sa ating mga horado. Sige, Tamara, ano mga katanungan mo? Actually, may tanong po ako kay Ma'am Marian. Uh, Ma'am Marian, simple lang po yung question. Hanggang saan po yung alam niyo sa complete value of pi? Joke lang, joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> yung totoong tanong ko po ay, alam nyo po, alam naman po natin na madalas naiinip tayo sa math and minsan kinakatakutan pa natin. Ano pong iniisip nyo magandang paraan para maging mas interesting yung math, para mas interested yung mga students or kahit sino man gusto mag-aaral ng math? Thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> Parang gantihan ba ito? Magantay kayo mamaya. Ang haba ng ang haba po ng diskusyon nila ng mga meet questions kanina eh. Ah, uh, nagisudyante kita, di ba? Ah, uh, interesado ka naman nung nagtuturo ako, di ba? Interesting naman. So I think um one reason why students become disinterested or they become afraid of math, that traumatized is the way teachers somehow handle kasi mahirap ang math. Totoo yun, hindi po siya ganun kadali. So somehow, to make it closer to their hearts, sa kanilang existence, dapat ilagyan ng meaning kung ano ang ibig sabihin, the, the bigger picture, hindi lang yung pag-memorize ng mga formulas, hindi lang. So may meaning lahat yan, at lahat yan ay may gamit sa totoong buhay. Yung dama, yung damdam dapat ng mga bata. And make it more um, light somehow. Thank you po sa sagot, ma'am. Para po dyan, yung masasabi ko lang ay Prof. K. Check! <laughs> mm. Likas na magagaling yung ating mga contestants. No? And later on, mas pati-check pa natin kung sila talaga yung pinakamagaling sa ating ultimate pagalingan round where correct answers are worth 30 points and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ng kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers sa round na ito, sa mga professors na ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Weekly Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin. First question, Prof. Maria. Dahil ang babait niyo magtanong, babait ang una kong tanong. In computer terms, what is the meaning of the abbreviation PDF? Gerald? Portable document file. It is a versatile file format which gives people an easy and re reliable way to present and exchange documents regardless of software, hardware, and operating system used. Correct answer is portable document format. Okay, check. Check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question, please. Which city in the United States serves as corporate headquarters of the following major companies? Coca-Cola Company, United Parcel Service, Delta Airlines, and Cable News Network or CNN. Ang unahing lungsod sa state of Georgia, ang tamang sagot ay Atlanta. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Rowie, microphone please. Who is the painter of, ito yung title ng painting, The Making of the Philippine Flag? Ang ating 
ang sagot ay isang national artist po at uh, kilala po siya sa maraming mga iba pang mga pinin pinin ano pinaint niya no uh, isa siyang visual artist and um, actually nakikita natin marami niyang mga paintings hindi natin alam na siya pala ang pintor siya po ay si Fernando Amorsolo maraming salamat prof Rowi prof Maria next question please so a bit more challenging if cotangent theta equals three fourths and theta is in the third quadrant, what is cosine theta? Walang naglakas loob sumagot or ayaw sumagot. What is cotangent? It's cosine over sine. That was three over four. Get the hypotenuse is 5, so it will be, kaya lang third quadrant negative. It's negative 3 over 5. Sir Neil, nakuha mo ba yung sagot na yun? Nakaka-relate ako sa contestants. Nose bleeding experience. Parang dumadaan na king dugo, di ba? Kala ko nag-iisip ko, parang hindi ko compete naman. Anyway. Hindi, nag-iisip nga ako, parang nang overwhelming. Hindi ko kaya nang sagutin yung tanong ni Ma Marian. Okay, so ito yung tanong ko belief in ahimsa or non-violence and aparigraha or asceticism are two of the pillars of this religious faith developed in India. Tamara? Who did it? Tama si Tamara na Buddhism ay galing sa India. Ganun din ang Hinduism. Pero ang tamang sagot ay Jainism. Thank you. Prof. Rowie, next question, please. Right. Meron na naman tayong national artist dito. Who is the national artist for dance? Have you ever heard of Alvin Ailey? Kasi ang pumapasok sa isip natin pag sinabing uh, national artist for dance, eh ano yan, tinikling, o mga, um, mga hindi eh. Ang national artist natin for dance, parang modern dance siya. So much like, tignan nyo mamaya si Alvin Ailey. Ang pangalan niya po ay, very familiar po, Alice Reyes. Thank you so much, Prof. Rowie. Prof. Marian, next question please. In a famous work of Douglas Adams, what number is considered the answer to the ultimate? 42. Tamara? 42. Okay, so this is from the science fiction bestseller Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The number from which all meaning can be derived. The correct answer is 42. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, which social science studies human societies, their interactions, and the processes that preserve and change them? Harold? Sociology. Among sagot, sociology, they check. Prof. Rowe, next question, please. Who is the painter of Ang title ay The Lanchon on the Grass and is known for Impressionism. Gerald? Dali. Salvador Dali. But that, that's the reason why I mentioned the name of the painting. Uh, alam niyo yung Lanchon on the Grass, yung mga nakaupo na parang Napakaganda ng feeling, but it's impressionism because it's not very realistic. You can read so many other things in that particular painting. And the correct answer is? Edward Manet. Okay. Prof. Marian. Salamat, Manet, sa iyong tanong na yon. Last na, from me. So, medyo hirapan na natin. Which physics law 
states, the magnetic field created by an electric current is proportional to the size of that electric current with a constant of proportionality equal to the permeability of free space. So, ito yung ginagamit din natin yung name na ito sa um, electricity, yung current. Ito yung Ampere, named after Andre Marie Ampere. So, it's called Ampere's Law. Natural ng dila yan, it's Prof. Neil, I'm pretty sure. Uh, habang nagtatanong at nagpapaliwanag si Mama Rin, tinitignan ko yung mga facial expressions niya. Para kang naglulok sa kanina. <laughs> yung... <laughs> Okay, ito madaling tanong. Pop culture, in sports, which player has the most career three-pointers in the NBA? <laughs> Gerald. Stephen Curry. Tamang sagot, Stephen Curry. Thank you. Final question from Prof. Rowey. Who, who designed the cultural center of um, he's a national artist and uh, he's known for um, slopes. Naalala nyo yung cultural center pag pumapasok tayo pag ganyan. Marami din na uh, yung uli, yung mga poste niya ay hindi halata. Yung mga poste niya ay magmumukhang part of the architecture and it has uh, value and the uh, practicality. And his name is Leandro Loxin. Maraming salamat, Prof. Rowey. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to our weekly winner, Harold, with a final score of 80 points. Harold will receive a cell phone from TVUP and will see him again in the semi-final. Thanks to Lang, Tamara, and Gerald for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Rowe. This is Chenson Pascual. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again on Monday for another Game Check! Check.